all right guys today's video is going to be a ROM install and a how-to here on how to do this this is on my droid bionic and it is uh, running stock ice cream sandwich um, so definitely you have to be on ice cream sandwich you have to have show you here super user or super sue installed this means you have root access and you have to have safe strap 3 installed which I have right there um, so as long as you have those two things um, go ahead and download the ROM. The ROM that I'm going to show you today is called iCarus HD. I think I said that right. I may not have. Sorry if I didn't. Um, but I'll have links to that in my video description. So let's kind of get into this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to boot off our uh, stock system here or whatever ROM you're on. If you're using SafeStrap, you could be on any, any number of five different ROMs because you have four slots in our stock ROM. This is stock right here, um, so I'm going to power off. We're going to boot into uh, safe strap mode, and I'll show you how this works. Let's take a second here. All right, so power on. Uh, when the splash screen for safe strap comes up, we're going to hit our menu button down here in the bottom left corner, and that should bring us to safe strap. And this is safe strap 3, and this is based on twerp recovery. Um, so let's let this thing load up here. Um, while we're waiting, oh, hang on, here we go. We're already up. So I'm gonna pick ROM slots three right here, and let's see here. This says I got only about three gigs of free space. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to override a different ROM slot. I'm gonna override codename Android, and we're gonna set nickname, and we're gonna set it to um, all the way back here. I car us HD H D if I can type right sorry guys H D there we go okay go um, we're going to activate that ROM slot so now that ROM slot is activated we're gonna go back and I'm going to do some wipes because I already have Codename Android installed on this and I don't want it installed on it anymore. So we're going to go into wipes and we're going to do a bunch of them. We're going to do a factory reset. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we are going to go back. We're going to wipe cache. Go back. Wipe Delvic. Go back. And we'll get out of this and we're going to go to um, right here, install. And actually, that's, we're in the right folder right now, which is really nice. So we're going to go to iCarus HD for Integra. Make sure it's still highlighted right there. And then we're going to flash it. Now, while this thing's flashing, I'm going to kind of go through some things with it. Um, it is ice cream sandwich based. It's based off of um, stock ROM. And it's got some tweaks in it, so I'm going to go through a couple of those while we're waiting on this thing. Um, first of all, Razer Eye Launcher with Circle Widget is included in this thing. Um, you have a blur camera integrated with AOSP Gallery. Um, so some different build pop tweaks. This thing is de-odoxed, de-bloated, optimized for maximum speed. Um, it's got some Razer M wallpapers in it custom boot animation uh, they added the 4.2 keyboard and 4.2 cameras um, along with some other really neat features in here which we'll get into once this thing loads up also got the new um, Gmail or I should say G yeah Gmail 4.2 with pinch to zoom built into it which is really exciting so it actually already finished booting or installing there so we're just going to go ahead and reboot the system and see if we can get this thing to boot up um, also you're going to definitely want to make sure that you have good battery before you do any of this process here uh, so i'm just going to let you guys see boot animation i'm going to go through setup after that i'll pause for setup and then i'll bring you up once i got my stuff set up on here but i want to see this boot animation since they say it's going to be custom you can leave this right here or you can hit the menu button down or the search button down there to continue. It'll continue without it though. So, so let's see what we got here. Come on, give me something interesting. I like these boot animations. Wait, wait, wait. Droid. 
Okay, so pretty cool. It's like an ice blue droid bionic. I like it. It's a uh, that's a neat look. Definitely a neat look. Uh, so I'm gonna pause here and we'll come back to it once I get my stuff set up and this thing fully boots. Probably give this thing a good five minutes to boot just to get everything going. Probably take about that long. All right, guys. Here we are. We're booted up. Um, so far, this is actually kind of cool. You, you guys see this? This is your 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 launcher here. Um, let me see if I can add this widget here. Uh, that's wallpaper. So let's see here. We're gonna we got some Razor M wallpapers. Pretty cool. Different little stuff there. Let's see what other wallpapers we got built into this thing. Just your standard stuff. It looks like to me. Um, let's go into your. Uh, apps here you got ads away on here built into it um, FM radio and then you got home manager so now you can actually manage your uh, home launcher which is very very nice if you want to download different launchers um, see what else we got here we have super user um, give my Verizon your standard stuff right there then let's go to widgets this is it, the circle circle widgets. This is what I kind of want to play with. I have not seen this really much myself. Choose widgets. Circle. Ooh. That's cool. Um, yeah, I really like that. That's that's pretty neat little widget right there. Now, oh, and you can. <laughs> oh, sweet. What about battery? Does it spin? Yeah, so that's pretty sweet. I love that it has that built into it. Um, here you guys can see your uh, toggles up here, which are pretty uh, neat little setup for toggles. Um, and then check this out. When you scroll this direction, it's always this. This is always quick shortcuts. Um, you can you know, go to all settings. Uh, you can see here about phone. This is Android 4.0.4 .4 and it is 0.246. So that is the official release there. Um, you have DSP Manager built into this thing along with CPU controls, which is not too exciting, but you can change your clock, min max, clock speeds, your governors, and your schedules all right there also. Um, so, but this right here, this right here is really neat. This little like just kind of go over right there to all your settings. I, I really think that's pretty cool, that quick setup right there. Um, and then this thing is pretty sweet too. Spin these little icon. That's 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 really cool. Um, then you can scroll through here. And then this, every time you want to add a page, you scroll all the way this way and it just gives you an option, a blank page, or start with a template or whatever to add pages to this thing. Um, let's look at camera here. Now you aren't going to see too much, but... Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's uh, looks like a pretty good camera. I think this is the new camera. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find ourselves a keyboard here. I'm going to scroll back out of my widgets here and go to text. And let's add a text here. Alright, so there you go. That is the new keyboard also right there. Um, if you guys like that, it is in this ROM. Um, yeah, so so far, real, real smooth. I definitely like these icons up here, which are pretty cool. Your signal icons are just funky looking. I don't even know what all the, how all that works, but it's it's pretty sweet looking. So, definitely some neat neat little features right there. Let's get out of this. Um, so, voice search and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so definitely really smooth. You also got this thing with favorites. You can add favorites into your app drawer right there, which is pretty cool too. Um, definitely love this little thing though. I want to get that on my other phones. So there you go guys. That is basically a little review and install of this uh, iCarus HD. Um, I'm going to give you guys links to this ROM for the Droid Bionic. Uh, I'll give you the XDA page and, and more, as much information I can in the description. Please, if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up and uh, install. Check it out. This thing looks really awesome for the drill bag. Works in safe strap. Install it in one of your ROM slots. Play with it, man. It, it looks really cool. Really smooth and slick. So check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys another time.